يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنباء if someone brings to you a news and especially someone that is a fasik people who create mischief and do bad things a fasik brings to us a news fatabayanu fatabayanu you see we are in a time where this is happening a lot of fake news a lot of false news a lot of false information on WhatsApp, on telephone, on television. Fatabayanu, Allah says, when you receive a news, verify the news. Whether it's false, it's fake, 50% true, 50% not true, we gotta verify it. Allah is saying, we must, we must verify that news and especially today sometimes you hear news against Islam Muslims Islamophobia you have people criticizing politicians some news false some news true you have people criticizing Islam some true some false people criticize politicians some true some false Allah says, because you may harm people out of ignorance. See? Allah is saying, be jahala, jihalat. That we may harm people, we may cause inconvenience to people by phoning someone, brother, did you hear so and so? You did not verify that news, but you are spreading that news to someone else. You're causing heartache, disturbance, confusion. No, this is not Islamic. Please, my brothers and sisters, not only for now, but why am I reminding myself and reminding you about this now? Because this is happening a lot. A lot of people are home. They don't have anything to do. So they're eating, they're sleeping, and they're talking a lot and they're on their phone a lot. And every time someone hears something or receives a message on the phone, they send it out without verifying it. If you cannot verify and you're not sure on the authenticity of what you have received, don't pass it on. When I look at some of the messages going out there and the videos and the clips, I'm like, Astaghfirullah. I wonder if people are being bought off you know, bought off by the wealthy and the powerful. The wealthy and the powerful. Are they buying scholars off? Because I'm hearing some kind of interpretations from some scholars, some imams, some leaders, some people in position in organizations, politicians. Auto technically, in every field, you got this corruption. You'll be seeing a lot of clippings and videos from Muslims. Verify it first with Quran and Sunnah. Don't jump around and say, well, Sheikh so-and-so said that. Imam so-and-so said that. I don't want you to even believe what I say. Please go check it in the Quran and Sunnah first. Do you know the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do you remember in his days, what did the Kufar try to do? What did the Kufar try to do with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Didn't they offer him the sun and moon? We'll give you the sun and moon in your hands. Just do what we say. Isn't that true? Didn't everybody knows that? Told the leaders, huh? Who were the leaders? The rich and the powerful. The rich and the powerful. This is an important thing. What happened? People don't have fear for Allah. So the rich and the powerful in the days of the Prophet ﷺ would tell him, stop preaching the message of God. We don't want you to preach this oneness of God. Come on. You do what we say and we give you everything. And that's how the Prophet ﷺ said, if you give me the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand, I will still not succumb to your false teachings. And today, 
From then, that has been happening. Leaders of those days, and that's what is translated into the rich and the powerful of today. Organizations buy off imams, religious leaders, professionals, politicians. Some of the rich and powerful buy out politicians. So when the politicians get in power, they do what the rich and powerful tells them to do. And this is a sign of the day of judgment. The Prophet ﷺ says, when the ignorant will rule the world, the ignorant who will have the tall, the barefooted people who will have the tall skyscrapers, there the people pull the shots for a lot of professionals. A lot of professionals, a lot of professionals, and I'm, I'm, I'm repeating Allah. Forget about the professionals that they mislead, or they buy out to mislead the people. The religious leaders, it's a very sad thing. The people tried it with the Prophet Wasallam, and he did not fault it. But today it's happening. A lot of people in the world, you go all over the Muslim world, I don't care, go check Arabia, check America, check Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Af see where the rich and the powerful buys out Muslim scholars to interpret Islam to please the rich and the powerful. Go check it out. That's all I'm saying. I quote no one, I say nothing. In the time of Musa, wassalam, what did Pharaoh try to do? Huh? When Moses, peace be upon him, went to give the message of Allah, Moses tried to buy him out to be amongst him and follow him. Musa wasalam, refused. Again, you see the rich and the powerful trying to buy out the message of God. Isn't that true, my brothers and sisters? You don't need to believe what I'm saying. Go check the Bible, check the Quran, check the Torah, check the Psalms, check the life of the Prophet Muhammad wasalam. Why did the people in Islam, we don't believe that Jesus was crucified, but we believe they wanted to crucify him. And they attempted to crucify him. And I know we're in just close to Easter, but I'm not going to talk about that. We don't have the time for that. You go check that out. But why did they attempt to kill him? Why in the Christian world, he was killed in the Christian belief, not Islam? because they wanted Jesus. The rich and the powerful in those days, the rich and the powerful in those days, wanted Jesus to say what they want him to say. Wanted Jesus, peace be upon him, to do what they want him to do. And when he did not, they said, we'll nail you to the cross. And that happens today. A lot of rich and powerful people, what do they do workers in their organizations and churches and masjids? etc. They say, Mr. Imam, Mr. Sheikh, if you don't do as we say to do, we'll nail you to the cross. We will. A nail to the cross mean fire. Huh? Sad. Before the day of judgment, a time will come when the Quran will only reach our throats. What? Our throats. And nowadays, this little reminder that I see happening, a lot of people are talking a lot of Islam, a lot of Islam, a lot of Quran, and a lot of Sunnah, but they're only texting it. They're what? Texting it. Do they read it? Do they follow it? Do they obey it? I don't know, Allah knows best. Definitely some would, definitely some would, the text on, certain things but that's what has happened it is just islam online not much action not many people are practicing it they're just forwarding it forwarding it so it's all about the throat here becomes the hand transferring a message but not in amal and actions